Welcome back to the A to Z of networking. We've reached the letter W. When we're networking, we need to be curious. We need to understand our network, get to know them better, find out how we can help them. And also, it helps us understand how they can best support us, if appropriate. That means asking lots of questions, not from a survey, not presenting them with a questionnaire. We've talked about this before but by listening, by paying attention and building on what they're telling us by investigating more deeply. So always be prepared to ask something else to find out a little bit more. In other words, do your research. A phrase coined by the brilliant Susan Rowan in her seminal book written over a quarter of a century ago now, we now use the phrase work the room in, in countries all over the world. It means making the most of a networking event. What it doesn't mean is running around dishing out business cards. What it doesn't mean is, is the networking dance where you share elevator pitches, you share handshakes, and then you go away. It means meeting people at events and building rapport with them and then following up with them. And from there, developing your network because it's from your network that the true value of networking comes, not solely from working the room. Be friendly, be open, be supportive of others at any point when you're engaging with them, but particularly at networking events. Remember how nervous many people are when they go to networking events. And if you remember that and you acknowledge that, you can help them by being warm and open when you meet them there. Be willing to listen for others. Be willing to help and support others. Be willing to be there for others and be willing to ask for help and support yourself. Set clear objectives. Understand how you want your network to help you. Understand how other people can support you in achieving your goals. And then when you're engaging with people generally, if you have that wish list, you're more likely to recognise opportunities to ask for that support when it's there in front of you. When you're in conversation, wait for the right moment, particularly if someone is speaking before making your contribution. Don't talk over them. When you're building a relationship with someone, wait until that relationship is strong enough before you start asking them for help or support. Be aware of other people's body language, both when you're in conversation with them and in the wider room. Respect what that means in terms of their comfort zone and how comfortable they are in engaging with you. Be aware of their body language generally will help you build rapport with them. Be observant at all times. At the heart of most networking events, very often free flowing, that doesn't mean you have to drink it all. Just be aware of being professional at all times. Yes, you can enjoy yourself. Yes, you can relax, but always behave in a way that wouldn't embarrass you the next morning. The networking equivalent of do you come here often? An icebreaker and the worst question people ask all over the world at networking events. So those are your networking W's. Come and join us next time. We'll be looking at that networking X factor.